Hey y'all, how's things? Hey, just wanted to uh, make a video today. We're out smoking some cheese. Temperature outside's about 44 degrees, which is really ideal temperature to uh, smoke cheese in. You don't want your cheese or your internal temperature of your grill to get above 80, 85 degrees or else the cheese would melt. So today is going to be just a perfect day. I am smoking with the wedgie. Uh, I have some flavored pellets in there. Uh, you can use cherry pellets or apple pellets. I think these are actually, I'm not sure which pellets they are. I just grabbed some out of um, the Wood Creek barbecue smoking kit that I got and threw the wedgie on. This wedgie has been used before. I've used it a few times. Really enjoy what it does. Uh, the triangle smoker box is pretty cool and it produces a ton of uh, a ton of smoke and does a really good job on cheese. I will be um, smoking the cheese today in a Traeger, although it doesn't matter what grill you smoke it on, as long as your chamber, uh, you can close it up and produce a lot of smoke and get get the smoke coming and penetrating the cheese and you'll have an amazing flavor cheese after it's done. I've always had good luck with about an hour and 45 minutes, maybe an hour and 30 minutes, somewhere in between then. Between there, I have tried doing more than that, two to three hours, and it was just way oversmoked, in my opinion. But I found that an hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes is ideal. So today, let's stoke this puppy up. Let's run with it and see where it takes us. I just have a butane blowtorch here. Um, the trick is you want to start your pellets. So you're getting the lighter going. All right, we're finally up and running. So I'm going to start the pellets on fire and you want to let us uh, once it catches fire, let it go for two or three minutes. This will really solidify the uh, smoking action. It'll get the pellets on fire, and then it'll uh, be able to go throughout the whole smoker box. I actually did only fill it um, about three quarters full, because this will uh, go for uh, probably three or four hours, just like it is now, and we won't need that much time. So. Anyway, that's what we're looking at. Have a good fire going on it. Just want to let it go here for a few minutes. That smoke will just really smolder and, and produce a really, really good, good smoke. Once it's started uh, smoking really good here, what we're going to do is the wedgie, you'll notice, is triangle, and it will fit perfectly back in the corner of the grill. So we'll, we'll do that and then um, have a little bit of airflow going through the grill. Amazing. I'm going to fire this up again just so that we can get the, see how orange it is and that's a lovely color. So I just want to get that fired up and going for a few minutes. All right, I think that's going to take for quite a while now, so that's good. Um, let it just smolder. One thing I like about the wedgie versus uh, rolled firebox is it's flat, number one, and it won't roll around in the grill. And number two, it's nice to be able to just put it back in the back corner of the grill and let it do its stuff. Uh, with, these, with this triangle smoker box, uh, 
you'll actually get about four hours of smoke on one fill, which is plenty if you're if you need to infuse uh, smoke into hamburger or even hot dogs or uh, anything else. Uh, the best thing to do with with the wedgie is to set it in, like I said, in the back corner of the grill and uh, turn your heat up on even your Weber. You can do this and have an indirect heat source going and you can really smoke some, infuse smoke into your meat. It makes a really uh, fun way to, to add a little taste to your to your food. Well, we're going to let this uh, fire up and go do its stuff now. It looks like it's going pretty good. It is a little bit windy out here, but uh, that's okay. We'll actually have some good airflow going through the chamber of the Traeger. Uh, I'll let this go for about an hour and 45 minutes, and we'll check back and see how the cheese looks. All right, an hour and a half. Actually, about an hour and 45 minutes later. Coming out to check on the cheese. As you can see, there's a pretty good flume of smoke still pounding out of there, which is awesome to see. There you go, it gives you a sense of what's been going on for that period of time. Just so you know, the smoking wedgie, not hot on the end, which is good. You can see the wood, the pellets, have burned mostly on this left side. There's still quite a bit left here. I'll bet there's at least another hour and a half or so of smoke that could happen. But since we are an hour and 45 minutes into smoking the cheese, we're going to take it off. The best thing to do now is uh, go in and let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes on the counter and then after that wrap the cheese up in baggies take all the air out as much as I can throw it in the refrigerator and it'll be the best cheese ever in the next three weeks to two months something like that we use it a lot for cheese sandwiches, and man, it is good. So, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. The smoking wedgie is still going strong. Enjoy.